Shalom, Shalom. Call the Hoya, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and their respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And to the hopeful that does scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. And to the few, and to the few off walk, off walk that are listening and learning. To you, I give us a sincere shout of war. Just coming back at you with a quick lesson through the power of spirit, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. And this lesson is going to start off with a dream, uh, well, a dream that I had. And um, the dream is uh, it may be a little odd, but uh, nevertheless, you see, it, it may be a little, a little odd, but nevertheless, it's, uh, it's going to be... Uh, gonna be um you know it's gonna I have scriptural meaning that's behind it. And the dream that I had, you know and, and the dream that I had, um uh, it was a book and you know that book that I that I had it, I can't remember the specific of it, but it was a book book. It was a you know, it was in a black hole, it was a book that belonged and it was some thing was like a diary, it was something else, but nevertheless, it had belonged to uh, you know, uh, the football player Dak Prescott. And, you know, I was remember that uh I had you know, had these books. And by me having these books, I was looking for uh, you know, that that uh Dak Prescott to get back those books. <laughs> and uh um, and it already, I don't know, it was like, it was, you know, I was walking on, on, a, on a bridge or something. And I looked down and I, I think it, I had seen, I thought I had seen that, that Prescott. And I don't know if it was like doing some type of video or rap video or whatever it was. And so, um, and I had shown, you know, shown, I think it was like three books in my hand. And then it was like he was on this uh I don't know like it was like a canoe or something he uh canoe his way over over there to where I was at and after I showed him the books and and uh he went and he received the books out of my hand and I turned around and I and I believe I had walked uh walked walked out or uh, walked walk, leaving you know and you know as I left and then, you know something didn't feel right and so I turned around and went back and and then the guy that I thought was that Prescott you know why I gave the books to find out it wasn't him so I you know I took the books back and yeah I took the books back and when I you know went to open the book it was some pages that was torn out of the books out of the, out of one particular book and I, you know, and I remember just being mad and upset about the page of being torn out of the book. And then, on, then it was like, I know it sounds crazy, but you know, I was scolding, you know, the person. And then it was, I don't know, it was like, you know, it was a group of kids or what have not, you know, but nevertheless, you know, I was, I was uh, mad and upset because it was some pages that was torn out of the book, out of that particular book. You know, and I was getting on to the uh, guy, uh, a, a person that did it, and then a person that did it, he, he just had a look of this interest, like you know, he didn't care that the pages and stuff were torn out of the book. But nevertheless, you know, just uh, by having that dream, you know, it, 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 the scripture came to mind, and you know, let me pull it up real quick. And you know, it, it, even though that it is a, uh, is a, um, uh, like, even though that uh, it, it's a, a very strange dream, but it has a powerful meaning behind, it, behind it. You know, if you uh, if you understand it, and and that reminds me of that scripture. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 6 and before I go into that and then also the dream remind me of how the Edomites 
uh, took out the took out the apocryphal out of the Bible. You know, they built it. Pre uh, they had this group called the Bible Destruction Group, and these guys went in and they uh, took out the uh, apocryphal out of the Bible. And and then when you know being told about it, you know they had this cognitive distance like they don't remember that they did that. And that's the same way with, you know, and then they have an attitude like they, they didn't care that they took out the words of the Most High. And and this is, and that, and that reminds me of another scripture I'm going to get to in a little bit that, that's in the end of Revelation chapter 22. I will get that later, you know, y'all willing. But this scripture came to mind, you know, about, you know, that I was pondering about that dream. This is, uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 6 and y'all will I'm not going to be too long on this lesson I'm just going to get straight to the point it reads give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you and, and, the, and that scripture came to mind you know uh, as I was pondering about that dream and, um, and it's a very powerful scripture for those who are waking up in the truth if you understand this scripture let me read that to you again this is matthew chapter 7 verse 6 it reads give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you if you understand that scripture we know that that uh your the what uh, uh, holy unto the dogs are pearls before swine. We know that that, that is the truth, this precious truth of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, the true gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. It said, Get not that which is holy unto the dogs, which we know that, that uh, you know, and, and, and not to cast your prayer before swine. We know. That is talking about Esau Edom because they cannot get it. You know, they you know the scripture comes to mind said, Let favor be shown to the wicked. You know, you know, they you know they can't learn righteousness. And then you can also apply this to the other nations, and you can also apply this to the two thirds, two thirds which are Israel, you know, casting your prayer before swine, you know, giving them this truth. Because the only thing that they're gonna do two-thirds in the other nations include Esau Edom they're going to laugh at it they're going to scoff at it they're not going to they're not going to care about it especially the wicked two-thirds Jakes. they don't they don't care about it and, and they don't do nothing to trample the trample uh the truth under their feet and then they turn around and they scoff and laugh at you you know the part where they say turn again and ring you they don't do nothing but trample the truth under their feet they, they cast the words behind me, you know, as it said in the scriptures. You see, they don't want to hear the gospel. They don't want to hear the truth. And now, there are all these things that are coming out, and now all these things that are coming to pass, now all of a sudden, you got all these, everybody wants to acquire all this truth. But guess what? They said, they said don't, don't uh, get that which is holding up to the dogs. Now to cast you your purse before swine, that they trample them on their feet and turn again and rear you. And, and, and just to think about this scripture, it's a very powerful scripture. You see, because they, you know, they ain't worthy to receive the truth. Yes, we gotta teach the truth of, uh, to all the nations because we have Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and the truth has to go out to those, to those Israelite foreigners that are scattered because y'all understand that we're scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. But understanding this scripture, we know that the, the elect, only the elect is going to receive the truth and they're going to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. You know, this, like I said, it's not going to be a very long lesson. You know, very short, you know, it's like it's very short and straight to the point. This lesson is going to, you know, you know, have to drink. After I had the dream, you know, I want to just, you know, wait, you know, to really start my day to bring out a lesson. But, you know, I, I know I say, you know, you know I, let me go on 
to do that now because of uh, because I want to uh, sit on the list and then end up forgetting, you know, forgetting what I need to say. So, so y'all willing, this is a powerful lesson. And, and this is going to be the last scripture. And then we're going to shut it down for you how will. You know, this is uh, Revelation chapter 22. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start at uh, verse 17. You know, it, the, the point is in verse 18 and 19. But it, it, you know, it reads, And the spirit and the bride said, Come, and let him that, that hear it say, Come. And let him that is the thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heard the words of the, of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the place which are written in his book. And, and if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of, the, of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book and we know verse 19 is a very powerful point because you because the same way in the dream that uh that they got tore out the page without this uh book that belonged to uh that press guy you know that's the same way you know just just the, the thought of it is, is very powerful the same way that Esau Edom took out the apocryphal, out of the uh, uh, out of the scriptures, and and he start he start you know changing words around in in the scriptures. You know that's a very powerful powerful thing. Most I say if you uh, add them to the add them to the scriptures, you know as Esau did, you know change the words around. He said that the Most High is gonna add them to the place which are written in his book. And, and then verse 19 say anybody that takes away you know from from uh from his word you know he's gonna take it take away their name out of book of life which you know that esau uh is rejected by yahweh by shim al and, and, and you know he's profane if you read it you can read that in hebrews chapter 12 verse 16 and 17 you know in that word profane means outside the temple you know he can't he can't receive salvation that's why we tell Jace that he stopped trying to save Esau, you can't save him because he's rejected the most high head rejected him. Point blank period. You know, nevertheless, you know, this is a very powerful lesson. You know, just gonna go ahead and end it there. Wanna say all praise to the most high. Yahweh by Shim Yahushah, by Shem Kakadash, double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. God willing. Shalom.